Cam uh, pitches a shutout here in this one, and here's a few of the guys that stood out defensively with a lot of tackles for loss and sacks uh, from left to right as we look at it here. Reese Oglesby, Cade Tickner, and Colby Rich. We'll talk with Reese first of all. Your first year seeing a lot of varsity action out there, and what were some things you were able to do well tonight to get into the backfield? Um, well, Coach Bauer has been harping on me a lot, so I have to get down via the gap. So uh, I really did that a lot better than I have in the past, and I don't really know. <laughs> the, uh, the team was able to pitch the shutout, and you guys uh, clamped down on the run pretty well. What were some things you looked at on film that you were preparing for, and how did that translate to the field? Uh, I was, I'm terrible at this, but <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> worked well at getting down. I worked well on getting down to the V of the neck, and once I did my responsibility down, Cade can do his job, and Cade saves my butt a lot, so that's why I really need to work on doing better. How are you guys feeling being 3-0 and with a few wins that have all been pretty lopsided? Uh, it feels pretty good going in 3-0, and not having very much varsity time. And I feel like our line's getting a lot more experience. So I feel like we'd be better off after these few weeks. All right. Well, we'll let you off the hook after that one. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Cade Tickner was also in on a lot of stops in the backfield. What did you see? Uh, what did you read from your spot, and how did you react defensively? Uh, Reese and the guys up front definitely did a good job of getting down tonight. and opening up that gap for me to take and you know just saw stuff a lot on film this week and saw what we needed to see got to our gaps and we were making plays all the way around tonight and the starters didn't have to play a whole heck of a lot um, in the second half but were you happy to see the the rest of the guys preserve that shutout that's one thing we talked about when those guys went in you said just keep the goose egg up there and I thought the guys that came in did a great job um, Austin Williams, Sam Foreman, Gabe Rouse, they all did a great job on keeping the goose egg up there and keeping that second string defense in check. On offense, you only carried it a few times, but a couple of those went to the end zone. One was a 31 yard, or you really turned on the Jets. Uh, talk about your night on offense. Well, you know, I just got killer speed. No, I'm just kidding. Were you I'm, tired after running that far? I was. 30 yards is a lot. I'm pretty slow, but, you know, there was great blocking on that play. Colby had a good block, and Saw some holes that I don't usually see. Got to see a little bit of field, which is not normal for me. So it was nice. Did a great job up front. Everybody did. Uh, how have you guys just kind of taken the next step from last year to this year, physically, mentally? In what ways do you feel you're better? Well, I definitely think we all all been working great in the weight room, and you know, us juniors have been playing for a couple years now. I think we're just maturing and seeing a lot more stuff than we usually did and that we did last year and we've just been getting better and better it's been going great for us what was more impressive tonight your 31 yard touchdown run or colby's sweet one-handed catch on that two-point conversion i didn't get to see the one-hand catch but i'm just going to assume it was probably cooler because i probably looked pretty slow running down this field so. all right colby we'll talk to you now you had a few sacks kind of back to back to back there i think that was in the second quarter how were you able to uh, beat the offensive line or whoever you had blocking you to get to the quarterback? Um, well, our coaches are always harping on us like as D linemen to use our hands and be physical. And I guess I just got lucky. I picked, got a matchup that I really liked and I just made the most of it. On offense tonight, you guys didn't really need to throw the ball a whole lot, so you weren't uh, necessarily heavily involved there, but you did have that uh, terrific catch on the two point conversion. Take us through that play. Um, well, it was a change route in our put it where the defender couldn't close my eyes and put a hand on it. <laughs> Coach Bauer laughed at that one. You're going to have to give him a hard time after. But, uh, so you guys 3-0 now. Uh, pretty comfortable wins the first three times out. Are you feeling pretty uh, pretty good about where you are? Yeah, I mean, obviously 3-0 three, three is a great feeling. But like next week, East Mills, pretty good team. Uh, really good athletes. Just going to have to work hard next week. and prepare for him again. Coach Bauer tells us he's always teaching and correcting uh, even after big wins like this. So you think he's going to have uh, plenty of things to find on the film from this week that he uh, can teach he, and correct? Without a doubt he always does. I mean 72 to nothing. He always nitpicks, finds everything. What are some of the expectations that you guys have this season especially after coming off such a strong season last year? Um, obviously we want to get to the dome. That's our main goal. But just doing all the little things and the right things to, I mean, that's kind of our expectation this year. What would you rather do, make a big catch or sack the quarterback? Um, 
Probably a big catch just because, I don't know. Pretty good night, uh, both uh, offensively and defensively tonight, though. So congratulations. Thanks for your time. Thank you.